Morning guys, Sammy here. And I'm up the creek today chasing jacks with my good mate Harry. Now, anyone who's chased jacks before, they know how difficult they can be. But we're going to give it a whirl. We've got the bait casters rigged up. Got a few plastics rigged as well. I'm going to show you some techniques while we're here. But uh, we've got to concentrate and get the hooks into one first. See how we go. Righto guys, so we've pulled up to this epic little snag over here. I'm going to show you two ways I'd fish it. Now the first one would be with a diving hard body. Now what the, we aim to do with this one here is to work that hard body down with the timber. So that timber is laying in the water, it gets deeper as it gets towards the middle of the creek. You want to work that timber down along beside it. We're going to end up in the snag in a second. Down the timber beside it and those fish will come out from an ambush position and hit that lure from there. Now. Retrieve wise, you can do that in a slow uh, slow roll or you can twitch it. Personal preference, um, I use both retrieves and change it up until I get a response. Now the other way I'd fish it would be with a soft plastic like these live prawn imitations. Now these are great because you can sink them down right into the sticky stuff and that's where the fish are sitting. So again, I'd cast up current, let it sink right in through the timber. Now, there's a fair chance you're going to get some snags doing that. You are going to lose some fish, but you're going to put yourself in a lot better fish catching position. And uh, you've got to be in it to win it. So we'll put a few casts in, see if we can't get a hit or two. But uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Start off with the plastic. So we've got the snag here. It's laying down current. And what we've got here is the leading edge. So that's where the water is hitting with the current. So what we're going to do is cast the head and let it sink down underneath the... Uh, the timber there. So we're going the prawn first, casting ahead. Now I know that timber is going to be sitting here, so I'm going to let it sink down a bit. Once I see it hit the bottom, give it a bit of a flick, give it a bit of a flick, give it a bit of a flick, and just continually let it sink back down. And the idea is, even can free spill it, is to get it to go under the tree and right down in the, in the heart of the snag. Now, oh, you can feel the, feel the sticks when you uh, give it a bit of a jig, but that's okay because they're, they're relatively snag free. I'll probably get a snag now and eat my words, but you got to be where the fish are and they are sitting tight in this structure. So now I'm going to see if I can free spill it right back in there now. Caught up on a branch, there you go. Told you I'd get a snag. Now this is where it pays to have one of these handy. This is a lure retriever stick and they will pay for themselves very quickly when you're fishing the snags. You simply wind it on. Might need to extend it out a bit actually. You wind it onto your line. Now that is a lot better than losing a lure every time you hook a log. But we'll give it one more cast with the plastic, then we'll switch over to the uh, hard body. Righto, so we're moving over to the uh, hard body lure now. We're going to show you how to use that. So I'm using that on a bait casting setup. It's going to allow me to thumb lock those jacks as soon as they jump on. I want to give them an inch. So what we want to do is cast as close as we can to the front edge of the snag, like so, and then just work the lure, twitch it down beside it. So the idea to be as close to the uh, snag as possible without snagging up. Now you'll feel your lure bouncing over trees and logs. That's fine. Means you're in the in the right zone. They reckon if you're not getting snagged enough, or if you're not getting snagged, you're not close enough. So twitching like that again. We're on the front edge of the snag. We're using the current to keep our lure as close to the snag as possible. And by twitching it or slow rolling it, the second you hit a log, you can pause and that lure will float up and then you can dig it back down again. So it helps in the snag resistance of your lure. But that's one way to fish the snags. You just got to be prepared to get snagged a couple of times. It's going to happen. Get your lure retriever out and you'll be right. 
but that's hard bodies. Jacks love them. Just got to put it in front of them. Well, unfortunately, no love on the jacks today. We uh, we gave it a fair nudge. We had a few chances, but nothing stuck, unfortunately. Which is so often the case with jack fishing. You can uh, cast your arm out all morning, and it can be the matter of one hookup. And if you don't capitalise on your chances, then you go home empty-handed. But that's why we chase them at the end of the day. They're such a tough fish to chase, to target, and to catch that uh, yeah keeps you coming back for more. So I showed you how to uh, target the fallen timber structure, so the big trees in the water. Uh, if you're going to target more rock bars and that sort of thing, you use a very similar technique, same principle. You want to keep your lure as close as possible to that structure. Uh, you want to fish the leading edge and really just work your lure down the front of it. So depending on how deep that rock bar is, you adjust your plastic weight or your depth of your deep diver to suit. And you just cast up and just work it down and keep that lure as close to structure as possible. So very similar principles to the timber, you just apply it at the same at the rock bar. Well guys, we're going to pack it in, call it a day, but hopefully we'll get some next time we're out, and we'll be sure to keep you posted if we do. Catch you later.